hi and welcome to my channel wendy's new normal my name is wendy kimani and yeah this is sort of the introduction to uh to for you guys to get to know me because i just started this channel i know it's been like 73 years since the last hair video that i did but first i really want to thank you guys for tuning in for liking for subscribing for sharing i was really happy to know that you guys were happy to get the tips i hope they've helped let me know in the comments down below so today's video is yeah as i said is an introduction and i asked you guys a while ago on an instagram post uh ask me whatever you want to ask me let's get to know me now that i'm starting a, a channel and i'm gonna let you guys into my life and this is that video so finally we're doing it i know i'm a mom these things are so hard to do now on this invade my privacy i have your questions over here here's some questions you guys some questions are hilarious but uh yeah let's do this so i'm gonna start with my name which is wendy kimani on the vata i'm married to a dutchman that's why you know the last name you can be on the water or chini amaji as i have been you know nicknamed and i love it we love it so whichever you're comfortable with chini amaji mrs chini amaji it's fine it's fine i'm married to a dutchman marvin You've probably seen him on my Instagram and if you haven't, yeah, you can stalk him over there. And he's, uh, yeah, he's an amazing guy. This is the reason I moved to Holland. It's my fault. And then now I have a little precious guy. His name is Taji Ondavata. And he's just amazing. He's one year now. And yeah, it's, it's right now everything is going okay because parenthood, that's another video okay i moved to holland in 2014 uh to start a family so now i live here but i'm back and forth i'm always in kenya and in holland so i'm here there here there yeah um everywhere okay so let's go through your questions on instagram and then um I, i'll try and answer them as honest as i can <laughs> okay let's see here do you speak dutch yet and how is life there compared to nairobi in particular i speak dutch kidogo a little bit oh sorry i should say it in dutch i speak dutch klein beetje ik spreek the netherlands klein beetje ik probeer het all tijd uh te spreken maar ik voel dat uh yeah niet zo goed spreken no one who speak Dutch know that I am just bullshitting right there, but it's fine. Well, I speak a little bit of Dutch. I understand more than I can speak. So I really am trying to get into classes because when these guys speak, it's, it's like... So that's why I'm in Dutch. I'm still learning. It's only been three years, but uh, I want to learn before Taji learns. So he starts engaging me and I don't want that with his dad. I don't want that. Uh, there are a lot of questions here about my hair and what I do and what products I use Check out the video. I'm just gonna put the link. Is it here or here? Check out this video. I, I wrote I gave you all the tips that I use. I'm a lazy natural I have like three four things that I use all the time check it out And you will not regret it. I would like to know the easiest to use products that soften shampoo and treat natural hair let me start with don't over shampoo your hair use really good conditioner so that means conditioner that uh, has great slip um, also really softens your hair and deep conditioning softens your hair um, and then and then uh, what else oh and leave-in conditioners so you deep condition every now and then maybe once a month maybe twice if your hair is really dry uh, and that will help your hair be softer and then also if you don't shampoo and you just co-wash with conditioner that also keeps a lot of moisture in your hair and that makes your hair soft it keeps it soft someone asked do i wear contact lenses i mean that has been the question for so long how it started is i had a friend who had lenses blue lenses 
and he it was a guy and i was like this is so interesting i was like where can i get these lenses and he said yeah you just go to this in this place it was a i remember i got my blue lenses in westlands there's an eye i i wear shop opposite where resorts used to be there's like an, i don't know if it's there anymore and that's where i went and i got my first blue lenses i wanted to get brown but someone told me i was talking about well maybe i'll get blue so i was like no you have dark skin so you can't wear blue i was like uh that's exactly what i'm going to do i don't know why people will discriminate on us dark skin people it's melanin it's just melanin what does that mean anyway i don't even want to get into this so just to prove a point i was like i'm dark I don't care i'm gonna buy blue lenses and that's what i did and then i ended up wearing them for eight years i love my blue lenses i change it sometimes i get green sometimes i get gray um yeah so i mean it's your life if you want to try out something just go and do it i mean don't let anyone stop you how did you get to adapt life away from home because i understand it can be so difficult and it was it really was you know when you move I, even for me actually I'd find it so difficult to move to a country alone um, for those people who do hands as in you guys hands down you're awesome I moved and I knew my husband was going to be here but you see it's different from vacation because when you come on vacation it takes time off and you guys are together but then I just came by myself uh, no I came and he had to go to work so I was by myself at, at home that's when you have to discover oh okay you have to what do you do what i would advise is learn if you're in a country where english is not the the primary language look for classes meet people because you'll always find people from other countries trying to learn the same language one that's how you meet people plus learn the language uh second is yeah just look look for something what do you do because you have to work right so or you have to go to school so either you look for school join a school or look for work that's the best way to integrate and once you feel like everybody like you're doing the things that people are doing around you you feel more gelled with the society and then accept that you've moved i have all my friends on a whatsapp group so i never feel like i lost them i just don't see them physically but sometimes they also don't see each other for really long so i'm like okay but then they meet for birthdays and then i'm like fomo because it looks like they're having so much fun but then i'm just like i will overdo it when i go and meet them because they're awesome uh yeah but also accept the friends that you make in the new country that you've moved to or new area that you've moved to make your friends go out have fun do whatever you would have done when you're home because that's the only way to um to get back to let's say normal but it's a new normal huh see what i did there what's the best thing about marriage so far the best thing about marriage so far is not thinking about dating <laughs> i sometimes dating can be just such a just a drag you know one of those things like the things where you're like oh when is he texting back is he gonna text back when should i text is it too early to text is it too late to call uh, am i looking too desperate am i pushing him am i too hard to get um, those are the things that what although when you're married you're just like yeah you know sometimes the passion you can get so comfortable that you have to keep reigniting the passion like like babe let's 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 do something crazy but then that's the best thing about marriage is you always have a best friend a partner in crime that you can do crazy stuff and they won't look at you like okay bye they'll laugh with you you know and that's really the thing i enjoy about marriage like, someone asked me about my hair type i don't like describing it to the four ACs or whatever but i would say i am in uh i'm in between uh, of course this is not my curl pattern but i'm in between 4c and 4b so the middle of my head is like 4b and the edges are 4c and to all the lookalikes i've gotten so many messages of, hey people say i look like you people say i look like you i'm like hey tweety hi hey another question do you hate your haters or block them um i don't know i mean 
I feel like giving the haters time like to answer or even clap back is just is just so much time I could be doing something else that makes me happier than clapping because when you clap back you just invite them to clap back again and then, and then back and forth back and forth then you've wasted half an hour of of feeling bad and then now you're left with bad feelings so it's just like they hate you read and then you just swipe it away there are a couple of questions on PCOS and I'm gonna do that in another video um, about how I conceived and everything so I'm sorry I'm not gonna answer this one here because PCOS is a whole other topic I mean, when is the best time to trim your hair or is it even necessary I think it's necessary because at first I was like I'm not trimming because I wanted length and then after three years just the other day I posted my picture last year I had to trim because one it was so dry I had like this much that was dry brittle it was it had like split ends and knots I had I had to straighten it and then trim it because it was crazy and even when I went to Kenya like last month uh, this is July so last in May I was I had to trim it again so it's now a little bit shorter than the picture that I posted but it's healthier and that's the most important so it's trim when necessary <laughs> so to the funny question someone's asked me when making tea in a cup hot water then milk or milk then hot water I'm like that's a trick question because when you make tea you have to boil the tea so you put tea and the milk and then you boil it so i don't know i make my tea kenyan style the way my mom food shared me with a sufuria you put water and milk and then you boil the tea tea leaves tea masala and you make tea so that was a trick question i don't know if i got it right Ati, can you find me a white guy there maybe someone who wants an african girl i can't i can't with you guys <laughs> I can't. I don't even know where to begin with this question. As in, I should I just? You know what? You know what? Maybe you guys should just send me your profile. No, don't do it. Don't send me your profile because I'm not a matchmaker. I don't know. And am I going to just stand over here, guys? As in this question. Okay, first of all, Munajichua, you guys when you when you are about find me a white guy how am i supposed to even find this white man when you think they're over here i'll just stand on the road and be like excuse me you you um you look kind of single do you want a nice african girl cooks you know cleans occasionally um but also likes nice things are you open to that how am i supposed to do that as in as in Thank you so much guys. I hope you know me a little bit more if I did not answer a question uh, Or if you're curious about me and something I didn't talk about just let me know in the comments below So this is where we get to know me uh, Wendy's new normal the channel and you'll get to know everything about me and everything that's happening in my life right now and where I live and everything. Uh, just for your entertainment. I love you guys and thank you so much for the love and let's keep it going. Subscribe, please like the video and you know share it if you think it's nice, funny, whatever. And yeah, I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!